Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nazak with Arshia. Financial markets are off to a woeful start for the bulls in 2022. Blame surging inflation, an out of step Federal Reserve or a nagging pandemic. But whatever boogeyman market participants identify, there are clear signs that the market is experiencing signs of wear and tear, if I use that as a euphemism. So before we begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor and you should always do your own due diligence and we should be talking about an investment scheme. All right, so here are a few market-based indicators that imply more bumps in the road or at least highlight the uneven path of market traversed us thus far. So in layman's terms, I'm just gonna show you what the highlights were that led us to this bumpy path. So number one, I like to call this one tech wreck. It happens a lot. So the NASDAQ composite is down 2.72%, and it's been, been in a downward spiral ever since. The popular technology index on Wednesday logged its first close in correction territory since last March, closing 10.69% below its November 19th record peak and meeting the commonly used definition for a correction. And according to Market Watch, on top of that, the NASDAQ on Tuesday notched its first close since April 2020 below a closely watched long-term trend line, its 200-day moving average. So the reach of its 200 day may be a more compelling cause for concern for optimistic bullish investors, given how long the index was able to stay above that level. And another thing is that moreover, big tech has performed the worst within the Dow Jones with Salesforce, Microsoft, Cisco, Apple, and, and IBM all down sharply in the year to date. Only Intel has been positive with 4.1% so far in January. And semiconductor stocks have also been the number two reason, number two downfall. They've particularly taken it on the chin really hard, slammed on the chin with the, the popular exchange traded iShares Semiconductor ETF SOXX down 7.3% this week and down 8.5% so far this year, producing underperformance that rivals that of the NASDAQ composite. And I'm gonna quote this from one of my sources in Yahoo Finance. Market technician Mark Newton notes that the semiconductor ETF, a proxy for appetite for the broader technology sector, just violated lows going back since last November 2021. Now, number four or number three, number four, let's just call it number four, is that death, I like to call this one a death cross for the smalls. You'll see why. So the, the Russell's 2000 index 50 day moving average fell below its 200 day moving average a death cross appears when the 50-day moving average or DMA crosses below the 200 DMA, which may chart watch, which many like chart watchers like to say that it marks a spot, a short-term pullback that graduates to a longer-term downtrend. Small caps as measured by the Russell 2000 index minus 1.78 right now have fared almost as badly as technology shares down 8.1% in the year to date. And the last one is the stock market's 3K. This has been a disaster. Newton, an analyst for Market Watch on Wednesday, also noted that the broad market Russell 3000 index, RUA, was pointing to further de deterioration, noting that the index has broken lows going back since December, which should provide a clear path down to October 2021 lows. Okay, so I just wanna share a graph with you guys. And I find that this, this is really, really bad. So do you see the support line? The support line is kind of going lower. 
And I don't mean to be a bear, but I think we're gonna see a little bit of further deterioration. It's moving past, we're moving past the support line downwards. So I'm, I'm really gonna, I'm just thinking that we're gonna see some more deterioration. And that's the conclusion for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you're at the end of this video, comment moonshot below. Thank you guys and see you to the next video. Bye-bye.